Okay, hey everybody, this is Daniel. Um, pretty much, I'm going to take you on a tour of my basement, my studio that I've just set up. Um, well, this is two things that I'm missing, first of all. I'm missing my sculpting table. My sculpting table will be coming in the mail soon, as you can see. Um, this bad boy is going to do me wonders. Um, because I'm getting into sculptures. I've taken a workshop in sculpting and I've taken a workshop in in um in photography also, which I've learned a lot of things about photography that's actually helping my drawings like tremendously. Um as you can see, um I have a backdrops um a extras um extension tubes for the camera I got clips I have a right there a cowboy studio with light box pretty much the whole deal the whole anything a photographer need or whatever um, I'm using soft boxes for a photographer it's supposed to be for my wife for doing um, portraits of the kids because we're no longer are going to spend money on um, taking our kids to do portrait we're, we're going to set up a studio in the um, garage pretty much for um, doing portraits and also taking pictures of my um, artwork to post on the internet um, yeah um, we're using a fluorescent light when we're going to do our um photography and stuff it's a pretty good setup it's um it's like 2000 and think 800 watts with all of the lights together and stuff like that man it's bad man it's we get umbrellas reflective lights pretty much the whole deal is what i get man for um my wife and me she doesn't know that i'm gonna use it so Let's kind of keep that a secret. Um, as you can see, this video is probably showing pretty clear because I changed the whole light system in the basement. I have all natural light coming in here now. Everything about this place is pretty much natural light. Um, I've got many lights because from this workshop I took on how to set up a studio and things like that, the guy said you don't want a light that just spread through the whole studio. You want to control your lights and stuff like that. So I got these um, fluorescent light bulbs or whatever, but they're based off of a technology where it only uses 23 watts, but it's putting out 100 watts by using 23 watts. It's very rare and I really can't explain it or whatever, but it's pretty much a light here. Um, this is my table light. Then I have this one light here. These clamp lights or whatever I'm going to be using to um, do um, still lights and stuff like that. Um, I found out ways how to make the light soft and stuff from Mr. Yang class and things like that. Pretty much um, this whole back wall here, I'm going to have to change this. Um, what I want to change about this back wall, well actually all of the wall in here, what I want to change is pretty much... I want um, some type of drapery with different colors on every wall or whatever because I don't like this whole cement thing or I just might paint the concrete wall and things like that. Now as you notice I got a window here and I have two windows right here in the back. These two windows in the back, um, so far it has only one exhaust fan in here. There's going to be probably three or four exhaust fans running in the back for my oil paintings and all that um, stuff so I'm gonna have air coming in through here and it's gonna pull out air through here I already ordered me a air purifier and all that stuff because I want to have safety first for my family these boxes consist of references from comic books to pretty much magazines all type of magazines and things like this this just get extra sketch pads and stuff like I'm trying to stock up almost like an art store for um drawing supplies pretty much I want to have everything on hand and stuff I got sculpting clay and stuff like that um that's one of the things I have like I said early in the video on order is I have a I have a sculpting table coming in the mail um, as you can see right here, a sculpting table coming in the mail. Um, yeah, 
this one I'm getting from Jerry's Autorama. It's still kind of pricey. They really don't give any good deals on sculpting tables. So um, the sculpting table is probably going to be set up back here um, next to my drafting slash printing table. Um, the drafting table have a ruler on it and stuff. It's still kind of messy in here and stuff like that. Toys and stuff down here because I'm still trying to organize this place pretty much. Um, this here is like a small little library of books that I still haven't even unpacked everything because there's man there's so much I still have to unpack. Um, um, as you see I got this shitload of turpinoid right here. I went ahead and just got the whole um, what is it a um, gallon pretty much yeah um, I'll probably do most of my painting from this part right here I have my fluorescent bulb right over my um, right over my palette and it shows a pretty clear shot of my canvas um, if I need any more light like I said these lights here have cords attached to them so you know I can pretty much un un unclip these here put soft light and stuff because I have to get another table for my still light this table broke because my big ass was leaning up against one side of the table and I didn't think about it and I got up on the table and sat on top of it on one side and it just collapsed yes I probably need to lose some more weight or whatever but so far I lost about 20 pounds so that's good um, I have these long cords and stuff here um, one on this lamp and one on that lamp there because I want these I want my light to be able to move and set up exactly how I want it like this here okay if I turn off this light you see everything in my room changes from what I learned in this art studio class that I was taking that I try to have different lights all in your studio so you can just pretty much get any type of light source that you want if I'm gonna do something serious and stuff I'll probably just go in borrow some of my wife um photography's setup and stuff because like I said she got the whole photography um set up in the um garage and stuff like that so which I'll probably make a video on that when everything that's set up or probably not um so this is just pretty much what I'm working with um right now um of course this is the drawing table that Joe recommended for me um I'm practicing ellipses on cups and stuff like that you know just things like that let me get a better focus on some of my drawings. Joe said he wanted to see a more finished one. Um, as you can see, I'm still working on it. I got so much homework to do and things like that. Um, I have taken a workshop class for um, for oil painting and stuff like that. Um, I went and got more colors. They taught me all about refined Lancy oil and Damar varnish which you can mix with turpin oil and you can also mix that with um landseed oil and stuff to get a nice um glossy flow to your painting and things like that um I also got me some as you can see well I gotta switch the focus probably that's why I ordered some lens for the camera well, you can't see it, but that is a, um, a cobalt blue, which was expensive, and a cadmium red, which was also expensive. Um, and then I have my main French ultramarine blue and stuff like that. Um, um, from some of the like workshops that I was in and stuff, they told me just go ahead and just get the stuff if you got the money to buy it so that's pretty much what I did um, I brought me a blending brush for the fans um, I read a lot about oil painting like a crap load about oil painting man it's it's just crazy how much information that I have taken in um, just when it comes to using different types of media and stuff using liquid original and stuff to change the strokes of your brush and stuff you know to get that satin finished when you're oil painting and stuff and like I just learned all of these things about oil painting and it's like 
it's kind of crazy, man, because I'm like in taking all of this stuff and like I feel like I know a lot. I just have to paint a lot, you know, and all that stuff. Um, I've been really getting into studying the color wheel and all that stuff and just basic colors. I understand, yes, you have to actually paint to get used to it and stuff like that. Um, as you can see here, my Wacom pen was destroyed. It's in like a hundred different pieces. So there's no digital painting right now because I ordered me probably a better art pen. I got the, um, well, that's, uh, hold on. I think that's the one that come with the Cintiq. I ordered an art pen which is supposed to be different. So it's supposed to have a bearing rotation and all this stuff. And it's supposed to feel like a paintbrush. I looked up reviews on the internet. It's supposed to be better than the original grip and it lasts longer. Because a lot of people have problems with the original grip stylus that a lot of people um, buy. So I went ahead and just upgraded since my son completely destroyed that pen. Um, and from now on, I've noticed I only draw upright, like I cannot draw flat anymore. So, I got this bad boy because I want to do my sketches on here. It's going to be propped up. Of course, I got the light table here, which my light lamp is right under here. So, that's a pretty nice gesture for um, doing things like um, working on animations or illustrations with tracing over things that are kind of rough sketched out and things like that so um pretty much that's all i'm working on i have to put up all of my printing paper and organize a lot more stuff and take these silly ass christmas lights down so pretty much um one thing i have noticed since this computer has been in an open space man it runs a lot cooler especially because i'm in a basement so it runs a lot cooler man and like um it doesn't collect a lot of dust like it did when i was in a smaller apartment with no room to breathe and everything was just pretty much packed up on top of